Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today we have friends of the channel, Kelly Castle, and he's got some great Thunderbirds. You'll see this one. What year make and model is this one? This is a 1967 Ford Thunderbird four-door Landau. Let's take a look at our featured attraction. So this one is the beginning. Well, maybe not the beginning. When did you get your first Thunderbird? Well, uh, the first one was in 1980. And that was in high school? Yes, and I had a two-door 67 Thunderbird, and I bought several at that time. And I started buying them again in 2016, and this was the first one. So this is the first one in 2016, and now you restore them. Let's open the hood, shall we? Okay. So I know that you don't like it, you like it clean, and I kind of actually like it dirty, because this shows kind of exactly what it looked like back in the day. You got your Ford badge there, your 390 cubic inches. It's all stuffed in. Is it difficult to work on this or you find it conveniently easy? It's not too bad, it's pretty easy. Okay, all right. Easy. We will, we show our Ford there. We have our Autolite badge there. And then we have this badge back here. That's an air, air conditioning uh, retrofit. Somebody did a, a change out years later. And that was that retrofit. Yeah. Got it. And we have our information there. Well, let's fire it, shall we? Just like so. And they come back down. Very nice. Well, while I have you in there, I like the fact that the tail lights are in the. Can you do the. Uh, there we go. There's our lights and your sequential tail light, just like so. All right, we'll shut off the turn signals. We'll listen to an idle. I always thought that was so classy how they had a complete taillight lens across the whole back end. Quiet as you would expect. We just started it, so you got a little... Ooh, listen to that. Ooh, there's a nice little rumble there, and I'm noticing double rumble, which means uh, dual exhaust. Go ahead, give it a, give it a rev. Classy and quiet. All right, we'll shut that off for a moment. <laughs> I want to show you this car from the side, and there's a reason why I want to do that. Kelly, as we take a look at this car from the side, which just looks great, so classy, let's show them how these doors open. Obviously, they call them suicide doors in the day. Interesting, your pinstripe comes off each door, but notice that chunk right there. That's very different. That they put that specific piece to give you that very comfortable feel of luxury in the back seat as though you were hidden. And the nice lamps back there, greeted by the word Ford. And we're actually gonna that nice chunk in the center, which doesn't feel like you're going to hit it. Notice the um, pinstripes stop right at each door handle. I'll show these hubcaps since we have it wonderfully glistening in the light. And then I want to show you the light on the back end of this car and we'll show you the interior. So we'll turn it around to the back. So speaking of the back, I always enjoyed how the tail lights of that car just went all the way across. And then you can see 
we have two Thunderbirds with the Thunderbird script. This nice little indentation right there. That pops up for your key. Gas tanks uh, behind the... Uh, gas tanks right there. Oh, here. gas tanks on the side right there, which will show that. So let's stay right here and we'll feature our trunk and treats. So Kelly has his car cover in this trunk. We've got the glue there that came from the factory. This, we're waiting for the new liner that's on back order. But don't despair, we're gonna show you some trunk and treats anyway. My friend right here, hey pumpkin there. Happy to see me. And we have, we'll start with our trunk and treats. Like so, that are all spread out, as you can see. So as we look through, that's a good one. Even 345 horses makes this thing fly. You're gonna jump out of your plane. Illustrated facts and features, showing the different Thunderbirds. I'll show you that while I flip the page. Yeah, very nice. There's the four-door Thunderbird. <laughs> Always the great photography, like so. <laughs> Your Thunderbird postcard. I'm not sure what they're doing in that one. What's going on there? I'll just leave that as is. There you have your Thunderbird door here. In your brochure, that's the feature of the Thunderbird. Now this is a lot of fun. So Kelly did an album. And I just want to show you this picture, which we'll see again. But show me what you did in here. Then this is my fourth, yeah, this album. is my fourth Thunder or fourth album. I sang for 12 years and I did it on the Thunderbirds. And the CD is the actual real cover. That and the, uh, the brochure, I had friends, uh, we dressed up and uh, my friend uh, Seagal, she uh, actually dressed Look up and this. made the earrings to match. <laughs> so we did a lot of... Uh, that's brilliant. A lot of fun, had a lot of fun with it. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, okay, that is... that. <laughs> That's good trunk and treats right there. Take a second at the 67 Fords. Okay, I'm gonna let you get that to our Thunderbird. Okay. This brochure is just Thunderbird, and this brochure is the key selling points. Cheese, can you possibly uh, make sure that the uh, tea is warmed by the time I get home? Hmm, seems like a wonderful car. So, the brand new four-door market that they're talking about here and your frame safety, stereo sonic, more information on the frame, and the drive in the country on your Thunderbird. This brochure is quite nice. As you'll see, there's that picture again. Great artwork there. Really showing the classiness of the car. Check out the earrings. Nice telescopic wheel. Another great drawing. Great interiors. A lot of nice features. That's great artwork there. A luxury car of now. So comfortable, it puts you to sleep. <sighs> Look out for that bike! That kind of thing, all right. <laughs> a little boat. Kelly, show me this one. This is a great one. This one they made to look like the four doors. If I can open it. Look so you just open it up like the, uh, <laughs> the, four the, four, door the center opening door is right. And then there's our participant. There's that photo again. Again, a great shot of the earrings. Welcome to the generation of Thunderbird. And wow, that's a presence. Yeah. I think you'll like my Thunderbird. Oh, I'm sure I will. And the four door with the doors opening just like you saw. Just 
great. Okay, some extra features. And that's our trunk and treats. And we're back. So when we show this quarter, we see that beautiful Thunderbird there. May I open it? Yes. Look at this great luxury-like feel there. And notice how that blends in. So it comes down, they partition it. And then as we open it up, I wanted to show you this here. We'll show you the front. And take a look at that. One other thing that's important here is that right there. And as we're greeted by the word Ford, we can see the multi-way seats. You have a light here. That's a, br a brake light. Brake light. What is this? Headlights. Headlights. Man, that is one big knob. And it, it matches the ignition on the other side. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's quite classy. So we've got this here, like so. 86,000 original miles. Your working clock, which is nice. Your current and your temp. And these pieces right here that look like... Those are airlines. Exactly, <laughs> just like an airplane. And it was always great how they had... Now, obviously, you've got power windows. What's the one in the center? That's the lockout for the back windows and the passenger oh, front window. Oh, wow. And then you got a little cubby there, and then... Uh, and a door lock, too. And the script Thunderbird. Really, with the classy look with the... You know, brushed aluminum. Brushed aluminum, thank you. Right there, and how that looks on the doors. And your seat belts, very nice. And this also has the overhead lights. Oh, I'm glad you pointed that out. On Look at that. So it shows that, and I'll show that headliner. Like so. Well, I think it's time to take it for a ride. Kelly and I are in the White, 1967. 1967 white one with the four doors. And right now, do you feel kind of like the chauffeur in this one? Because a I mean, uh, yeah, usually that's quite the back end of this car. It is. There's a lot of room for people. If I'm going to a grand event, you know, they're like, Lou Costable is featured at this muscle car show. I'd like you to take this car and then I can hop out of the back. You can have, you can have the door open yeah, for you. Yeah, exactly. This would be the way to go. This is really a classy ride. Definitely different than the two door version. What do you feel like when you're driving this one? A lot of memories. Um, I had a four-door back in 1981. I think I bought a four-door after I bought my two-door. And uh, it's just nostalgic, and I, I think it's really cool. I, I, I really like having this one because of the four doors, just because they're so rare and unusual. So, um, and it does drive a little differently than the two-door. Did, did this one find you, or how did, it, how did this happen? Um, I was looking, and I really wanted to get a 67 T-Bird four-door. I thought I'll get a four-door because it's so unusual. And um, I started looking around, and there was one in Mesa. And uh, an older gentleman owned it, and he was getting rid of it. He, he couldn't drive anymore. And um, I took a drive in it, and I was like, oh, i got to have this car. This is back. <laughs> it's brought me back to all the memories. Yeah. Well, I, I, that's what I like about these cars, too, is, I mean, they do take you right back. I'll just show you a little of our travel here because this is great. They do take you right back. They're time travelers. And it's just not only so great to see the brochures and all the fun they had with those brochures, but when you get the chance to, you know, take the ride in something like this and you feel how smooth it is and you get that big Thunderbird and even kind of the smells of the car. Yes, kind of has, definitely smells like the 60s. Yeah, I mean, it's not a, it's not a, it's a good smell. It's yes. not a bad smell. It just, there's just a little different smell. It doesn't smell exactly like the new cars that we have. But uh, I want to show a little more of this ride as we're going straight ahead. And then we'll wrap up our ride, but how good looking is that with the mountain in front of us? That's nice. Kelly, always a treat seeing you. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story. Thank you.